All right, this is Commodore Razor. We're at McAvoy. We're gonna enter the original Sturgeon Derby. What's the date today? I don't even know. Uh, it's around the third or fourth. And uh, that's the Sturgeon Derby, the Meg, the Blue Pearl, and McAvoy Bull Harbor. All right, let's go get it done. How you doing, All right, you? this is Commodore Razor. We're at the original Sturgeon Derby, getting ready to sign up our team. It's a beautiful place, very traditional place. And uh, we're gonna get some shirts, hats, raffle. We suggest everybody who's a sturgeon fisherman come through. And come sign up, through. Sign up for this derby, which is the best derby in all the Bay Area. It always has been, and it always will be. This is Commodore Razor. I'm here with Harrison, and we're pre-fishing for the 2023 Original Sturgeon Derby. You saw us, we just uh, paid our fees and got clocked in. We're over here at uh, Decker Island in Rio Vista, our first spot for the pre-fish to see uh, what's cracking up here. There's a lot of debris. If anybody comes out here, you're gonna see a lot of debris, but I happen to know that uh, the fish still bite when there's debris. You just gotta watch your lines more and look for uh, things to, um, you know, make sure you don't get uh, clogged up with, with debris on your line or if a big stick comes and knocks you out. You gotta bring it in and take care of it and put it back out. We'll see how long we last out here. All right, thank you. Ripping, huh? Ooh. It's Commodore Razor, bad water fishing. We're about six or seven o'clock at night. And uh, Harrison we're hooked up. is hooked up, dude. Harrison St. John trying to get a talisman. He's running, he's running. But you're past these ones, right? Let me get it to the side. Go ahead and switch sides. We got a mayhem going on. Looks like this could be a sturgeon keeper size. And uh, oh, he's running, he's running. He's taking line. There's like nothing I can do, he's just taking line. That's good. Just okay, just lift up, no, lift up, and reel down towards it nice and easy, like that. That's the motion to get him in. Just keep doing that. If he takes off, he takes off. Let me see if I can get the spotlight. Let's just stay here. Oh yeah, you're just running. Yeah. Just running. yeah, but just uh, lift up and then reel down to it. Even if it runs, and then you gotta guide it with your thumb, remember. Oh. You're good, because you have to still the line out. <laughs> okay, lift up, now reel down to it, and then guide it this way, back the other way. There you go. Oh, it's not even cranking nowhere. Yeah, but just keep lifting up and then reeling down. You don't want to get, let him, let him, uh, Ooh. <laughs> okay, it's all right. That might be a lot, a lot bigger than what we initially thought. <clears throat> Commodore needs to try to get the spotlight. out there uh, yeah that's taking line he's taught this is uh, this is why we live <laughs> oh he's just taking line that's all right up and then you got to reel down to it it ain't up. reeling nowhere up and then reel down to it. And up. And then reel down to it. It's a big fish, a lot bigger than I thought. Much bigger. It's big. Remember that mark we got on the screen? There's no way. <laughs> That's it. You think so? <laughs> I don't know. 
it's a big fish. It, it, it just seemed like it was going to come in right nice and easy, but. No, he's just running on the, ain't nothing but a run. It's weird. Should we tighten the dryer a little bit more? No, no, no. no. Leave just keep it up. Let me see. Well, just look how much the pole is bent. That's how you can tell. Let me see. Look out. It's gonna be too much. Okay. You gotta, you gotta get him to come in. You gotta get him, yeah. Just like that, and then try to get line back on him. Dude, this fish is taking line. Yeah, he ain't, he ain't budging. Oh, there we go. Got a little bit back. Got like an inch back. Yeah, just nice and easy, and then and then reel down to him. You might have to go after him, just like I told you. Oh, I think we're gonna have to go after him. He's just mm -hmm. taking line. We got a lot of line. This fish is way out there. He's uh. You can see that he's already got. Oh, there we go. He's getting some line back now. Two, three hundred yards out. Two hundred. We don't. We don't know. But we know he's on. There you go. You gotta. You gotta just not fast, but not slow. You gotta just keep working him in up like that, and then down to him, and just inch him back in. But you don't want to drop it down. You want to lower it down while you're reeling fast. Yeah. And you'll get you'll gain line. You're not reeling fast enough. Your hand's not cranking. I could see. I could see just by looking at. So Harrison is a sturgeon virgin on the blue pearl, bad water fishing. He's hooked up. He's tight. He's got a large fish, so we're, we're kind of teaching him as we go to get this fish in. But it's uh, going to use every bit of the reel and rod, the new rod. This is my newest rod, the VIP. And uh, Harrison's got to work this fish back in. He's got a lot of line out. Let me... Uh, You got to reel down to it. You got to reel down to it more. You're you're lowering it down too much and not getting line back. Okay. Lower it down and reel at the same time. Reel, but real fast, reel with your yeah. There you go. And then don't don't jerk it up. You okay. lift it up slowly and then reel down to it. just got to watch it because we're out here in Rio Vista. We don't want some tree to come and <laughs> end this fish fight. He's stretched. He's not gaining. Oh yeah, he's on, he's on there. He's a big one. You've been fighting this fish for 10 minutes. We're gonna keep it like this. Let's see what we can see. Gonna try to help this sturgeon virgin a little bit. We can't really see that much. Could be a bolt record. Keep going, keep going. Don't don't stop. You gotta stay on that fish. He 
he's heavy. He's a grunter. He's big, man. You gotta, you gotta get him in, dude. You gotta, you can't let him rest. You gotta just pump him up and, and come in. Okay. Hooked up 10 minutes already, dude, and we're just losing line, dude. There ain't, this could be a boat record. Yeah, yeah. It's huge, dude. 10 minutes, dude. It, it felt like it was coming right at us, and then all of a sudden, dude, it just freaking took off. Ripping line went to the left, and he's hooked up. We're getting trying to get some video, but dude, this fish will not come in. He's, he's, he's. He just taking everything, dude. Big fish. Oh, am I gonna get the fighting? I gotta go. Video it. I'll call you. Yeah, we're videoing it. Oh, with my phone or what? Yeah, we're videoing it with the GoPro, dude. All right. It's just a big fish. All right, later. You, what do you need? You need the fighting bell? You need a chair? Yeah, I need the chair, probably. My lower back is real weak because of work. Okay, let's see. Uh, push. You gotta push yourself a little bit forward. There you go. Okay. Okay. It'll start to come come in. There you go, now it's just coming. Nice and easy, nice and easy, there you go. Once he gets tired, it'll start to come in. He took so much line, dude. Yeah, so many rounds. It, it, this is a huge fish. Nice and easy. That's, you're getting him now. Oh yeah, we're getting, we're gaining on him. Nice and easy. Just like that. It's just a fight like that. That's how it's going to be. Woo! This is probably my PB right here. This is definitely going to be my PB. Oh, dude, look at him. He's ripping again off. Let's get you up, buddy. Let's get you up. Come on, crank down. Todd, I gotta loosen this drag a little bit. Oh, no, give me no. It says, unable to send this message. Your device is not connected. Connected to what? It's a fucking phone. Just keep going. You gotta, yeah, you gotta just keep tugging and tussle. You gotta tussle. Nope, we're not connected. My phone's fucked. Yeah, right. right. You gotta just stay. You gotta stay with them, bro. He's just running. Yeah, you gotta. Just stay, stay of course. Same thing. You gotta nice and easy. And just try not to piss them off. Keep going and then reel down. Them. Get, get your line back. Yeah. Okay, good. Now, nice nice and easy. Up. Nice and easy. Yeah, you got to keep that one. Up all the way. Up more. Okay. And then get your line back. Nice and easy again. Give me my line back, baby. Give it back to me. Yeah. Commodore Razor, we've been fighting this fish for about 20 minutes. Give me my line back. We can barely get line on it, but it's coming. Hopefully everything holds up. Oh, he's running. Don't you run on me. You gotta just keep working on it.
know if you can see that, but he's stretched. You got You can't let him rest because he's just gonna get rest. There you go. You get him back in. It's nice and easy. On the arm. You're getting him back. <laughs> so that's literally the lightest pole we have out. <laughs> when I told you, remember when that one's the lightest pole? <laughs> that's the one that gets in. <laughs> Does the lighter pole make it harder or easier to fight it? No, you, you got way more way more torque with the bigger, heavier poles, bigger reel, uh, bigger, bigger, more torque. Just, but it doesn't matter now because we're here now and you're hooked up, so you need to just keep on it, keep keep forcing them back and forth. Dude, I think that was the fuck the fish that we saw on the screen, bro. I'm totally serious, dude. That thing is massive. I'm. How long have we been fighting him now? It's a long time. Uh, my phone doesn't work right now. I, ch I try to call. I try to call Ethan and text Raul Morgana, and it says not in service or something like that. I don't know. But I'm not worried about it because we got the video going. The GoPro's still going. We got lights. We got a big fish on. It's coming back. It's coming back. You got to just inch him in. There you go. Mm -hmm. If he snaps, he snaps. He's going to be too big. I mean, it's not even a chance oh, he's going to be big, the right size. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe I'm just weak. <laughs> no. No, dude. I, I thought for sure it was going to be like a small keeper. Remember I told you I thought it was a striper because it, yeah. wasn't, it wasn't swimming right. But it was... Into the light, go into the light. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gaining on them now. Like I say, sometimes they turn around and try to swim by the boat, man. That's a that's where you get a win because you can just reel it as quick as possible. Oh yeah, he's just taking line again. Watch, watch one of these other ones get hooked up. Oh my god! After 30 minutes. See if you can get a lift it up nice and easy. This thing is still just this taking line. Arkansas hunch, bad water fishing. That's why we live. Trust the process, dude. Like I told you, I fought a fish for 45 minutes before, and then it swam away, and I fought it for another 45 minutes. And he does not want to go into the light, huh? Oh, no, he does not like the light. You got to reel when you're going down. Yeah, it's like that. Again, just keep it up. He, he'll get tired. He better even get though he tired. doesn't know it. He freaking better get tired because he's still just ripping on it. Poor Ethan, he should have been here, dude. That's all you can't tighten the drag anymore. Look at how freaking bent that pole is, dude. It's not a drag thing, that's a you know. 
monster. Monster. 25 pound test. 250 pound fish. No way. Yeah. Really? Oh yeah. Oh dude, you saw me catch that 50 pound fish the other day in about five minutes. Dude, look at this thing. This could be a world record fish. I, I'm being totally serious. Really? You can't get the world record anymore because you can't you can't keep them keep them or measure them or weigh them or whatever. But it could be bigger than the biggest fish ever caught, dude. This thing is a monster, dude. But you're not taking into account that I'm weak, so. <laughs> yeah, it could be a 40 inch. <laughs> Let's keep going, bro. No, it's a gain line on the other side of the reel. Oh, yeah, I'm just keep pushing, pushing it over. It's not as cattywamped as I thought it would be. No, you're, you're doing good, dude. Just, this is a, <laughs> This is real, but <laughs> real. You're gaining, that's all you just gotta, you gotta just reel down quick, go up, just keep doing it over and over until he kind of gets up. Try to keep something on that side. On the line? I just can't, I feel like I can't pull up too fast or else he's gonna get pissed off and run. Yeah, yeah, I know, that's 100% that's true, but you're doing good, dude. You just gotta go down. You gotta reel it down so that way you gain you gain whatever you're pulling gently up. And he's just coming in little by little by little. And you might take another big ass run, you never know. Fucking better not. <laughs> I'm dying over here. Oh he's coming up a lot easier now. We just just keep going. Find the deep hookers. Well, we need some pictures. <laughs> Put the light on him. Cut him loose. I have a deep hook.
gaining. He's gaining on him. He's gaining on him. Slowly but surely. Uh, I think we got a little while before that happens. No, no. I don't, but I want to be ready when he gets here. Getting close. You think so? Oh yeah. I can't believe I thought it was a striped bass, man. <laughs> but it was swimming like it was swimming like all crazy back, you know. This is a log, I'm gonna be so pissed. It's not a log, <laughs> trust me. <laughs> if it was Chuck, it would be a log. <laughs> uh oh, this is my. so surreal that it's a fish huh how big it oh, is oh dude i'm i like like pb for sure for sure <laughs> gotta get him in i'll pull i'll pull that sock in once we see him well i'm trying to see. See this demon. Come on down. I don't know if you can see that, but we've been fighting this fish for a long, long time. You don't, you don't want to come up. You, you just got to stay on him. You're doing everything right. Trust me. It's gonna be a beautiful sight, bro. That's amazing. 
that stick right there. This way, here we go. Get them close. Keep them off to the side so that way you try to get them in the camera. <laughs> Can't go in there and get it, you know. <laughs> Jump in, swim now. Grab him. It's like 59 inches. I'm gonna be like, oh my god! Watch that stick. There we go. Good job. Did you ask him how big the biggest fish I ever caught was? Yeah. I think you're about to pass me up right now. No way. I think so. Well, we'll see. We got a tape measure. I, I guess we could try to measure it. Like we we gotta to measure it, dude. We gotta measure it. I need to know the length of this fish. It is like imperative to the living of my the rest of my life right now. <laughs> I need to know. I need to know. I'm coming up. I'm just doing it slow. All those little bucks, man, they make me nervous when I'm fishing, when I'm fighting a fish and they start doing those little bucks. I'm like, what's this thing doing down there? Trying to escape is what he's doing. Ruben Romo was here, he'd already have four beers now. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely gained a lot of line on him. Thank you. 
think you'd like this spot better than the last one, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like this spot much better. This spot suits my fancy much, much better. Just like, whoa. Yeah. Epic fish battle wow. on the blue pearl, bad water fishing. Still getting it done with the old boat while we're waiting for the new Hughes Craft 250 Alaskan. But man, this boat is still legendary. I was going to be an energy drink, but I'm wide awake now. <laughs> oh, I'm wide awake. Getting close. We're getting kind of close. <laughs> Ooh, we still got some time. Still got some juice left in them. Oh, but every time you're getting some that back, every time. So you just gotta I know, but if you look, every time I lift up, yeah, but that's just dead that's weight. the game, just dude. Pulse. That's the fight. You're doing it right. This is definitely different than ripping rockfish out of the coastline <laughs> with a 60 pound braid, 60 pound braided test. This is like it's like catching the kelp instead of the fish. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out! There's a little. Oh well, it's all right. There was just a little twig that you got. It's like a whale or a sea lion. Bro, if it's a sea lion, then we're eating sea lion. <laughs> you gotta <laughs> call a fishing game and see what the size limit on a sea lion is. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Just massive fish that we talked about earlier. I told them there's huge fish in these waters. They're just out here. Ethan, you should have been here. Ethan, you should have been here. But no, you had to go eat dinner with your parents. And I'm catching a monster. Should have been here. I think you guys are having crow, Ethan, with your parents. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming in. He's coming in. Yep. Remember I told you you would learn how to use that reel and it's a quick learning process? Oh yeah, I had to learn this hey, reel. This is quick. the way to learn. Right? <laughs> This way. Try to keep him that way because that way we don't have to worry about these two poles. But if, if he comes this way, I'll bring the other ones in. I just want to. Not like I not like I want to catch another fish on the line over here. I just want to. I don't want to be tossing them all inside the boat right now. They're out of the way where they're at. He's going on another run. Shit, are you kidding me? No way.
you hook up, you don't get the chair. <laughs> if I hook up, it'll be coming in a lot before that one gets here, I'll tell you that. <laughs> just gotta keep going, just keep rolling, keep rolling, you got it. Oh, I'm rolling. I'm rocking and rolling. Badwater fishing. My newest mate, team member. Hell yeah. Harrison St. John. Dude, he's just running again. There's like nothing I can do. You just, just keep, keep going. It. You're doing what you can do, bro. Just stay on it. What's up, Chucky? Oh yeah, dude, this is a monster, dude. A monster, absolute monster. He got it all the way, not next to the boat, but close, and then it just took off. It just ripped off another 30, 40 yards. It's a monster, dude. Every, we can't tighten the drag too much because it's got only 25 pound test. We caught it on the new rod, the gold one, the VIP. So it's, it's, dude, it's a fight, dude. We've been at it more than 30 minutes or whatever. I don't even know how long, dude. He's sitting down in the chair. He can't even stand up no more. He's tired. I told him just keep going, dude. It's all you. He, he, he's gaining it, dude. We haven't even seen it yet, but you know, it's a hundred percent. One, one pull down. It came up, and then it went down again. Set the hook, and and uh, it, it felt like it was it was just like a small fish, dude. I even told him it was a small one. Thought it was a striper, but then it just took off, dude. Oh my god, it took off. So I don't know. I gotta go though. It's getting close, man. I'll, I'll call you. I'll call you. We'll try to get a picture of when it's done. All right. I sent a picture. I sent Ethan a picture of the fight. I think we're gonna see it. Oh, we got a while. He took a big run of those. Again? Uh-huh. That's why you can't let him rest. I was pumping the entire time. It's just when I pull up, the drag just keeps going out. It doesn't stop. Can't go. Uh... See? Nothing I can do about that. It's a huge fish. <laughs> I wish I had that problem. Some car over there or something hitting the side, the rumble strip. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. I was doing that one before we were getting here. <laughs> About 45 minutes. About 45 minutes. You know, I started going to the gym again recently. This is the best workout I've had so far. <laughs> just I can't find that deep hook right here. Just, just, you know what I'm talking about? I don't know if you guys showed me the deep hooker. What? I don't know if you guys showed me the deep hooker. It's like a little... Grab the hook and then pull it, but it takes the hook right out. Here it is. Alright. Ready for the D hooking. We just need him to get this fish in so we can D hook it. This is an absolutely monster, monster fish. fish.
circles. Yeah, he's you're coming gaining, now. You're gaining. Same thing, just keep going nice and even. <laughs> Dude, it was coming. <laughs> just keep doing it though. This is going to be massive. Remember this, all the stories I was telling you, like we've been fishing and it just happens, just out, this out is of the exactly, blue. dude. We're just doing our job and enjoying it out here. And this fish comes and interrupts our, our quiet, our, peaceful time, <laughs> <laughs> our, our reflective meditation, meditating time. <laughs> no, it just, dude, from the first bait to the last bait, you got a chance to pop a big fish like this. And we're still in the water. We're still fishing as we're fishing. Yeah. I know, but I'm hoping none of these other ones get big because that's going to be too much. too much. Too much. Too much going on. I tell you, you said there's no such thing as too much fish. <laughs> you, you might change your mind. <laughs> oh, I'm working on changing my mind right now. I'm going to freaking, my arms are going to fall off. <laughs> hey, it's a good problem this to is have. This a though. real fish, dude. Unless it's a submarine. I've already named this fish Rosie. <laughs> Rosie the White Sturgeon. After the drink. Heck yeah. Yeah, we got... Mm, I don't know how much time. I can't see it. I don't have glasses, but... We got a lot of time on this fish. He's coming. He's coming in. Hopefully we'll be seeing it pretty soon. Harrison's doing a great job. He's tight. He's staying on it. When somebody says tight lines, this is what they're talking about. Tight lines. I'm surprised we haven't had to chase it. No, it was getting close, but yeah. but once it stopped, and, and again, you're getting better as you go, just knowing, hey, you gotta get that line back. It's gotta be an easy thing. You can't piss him off, because if he gets pissed, he's going wherever he wants. He's not gonna, he's not gonna stop. The, the fish, especially the big ones like this, they have enough strength just to, if they go in one direction, yeah. they're gonna take all your line, but they don't. They they, they kind of just go down or go from side to side and that's how you tire them out. So you just wanna keep it slow and just inching away at them until we get them up here tired. Which is, which is our plan, even though it's a slow plan. fish still got energy. Oh wow, that's a big fish. Oh. That's that's the way you get them in. They just work them, work them, work them. Same thing. No, no crazy movements. No abrupt. Everything nice and smooth. And when you take some, don't don't worry. You'll get it back. Getting it back. Dude, those things are just like crazy on huh? those little bucks and stuff. This is a big cherry popper for a sturgeon virgin. <laughs> <laughs> So, 
just thinking that a couple of years I'll be sitting here with another guy on the new boat telling him a story about when Harrison St. John <laughs> hooked up a massive fish at this spot. Trust me, guy, the fish are here. It's a good spot. <laughs> don't don't get, give me a call. You'd be like, hey, you down. remember that time? <laughs> You're like, yeah, when my left arm almost fell off. <laughs> I had to switch to the right you're, you're hand. You're getting them. You just, you're, I mean, it's a big fish. It's coming in pretty steadily now. Yeah, I see that. I, I like the angle, too. He's not stretched out like he was earlier. So that means he's not that, he's not that deep, either. This is Commodore Razor, bad water fishing, GoPro's dead. He's been fighting this fish for an hour and uh, it's still on, dude. With the Commodore, is just in a whole spool of shit here. <laughs> this, <laughs> this fish is big and nasty. One hour and it just ripped off about 100 yards of line. We don't know where, what's gonna happen, but we ain't giving up, charging the GoPro. And we went to the phone mode. We'll let you know what happened. Try to get a picture of this fish before we release it. It's obviously oversized. Over one hour of fighting it. All right. All right, Commodore Razor, bad water fishing. We'll get this uh, undersized fish back in the water, get the release, hopefully on film. <laughs> Watch that many times. Ready? Uh, okay. This is Commodore Razor, bad water fishing. We're heading in. Got a heavy downpour. I don't know if you can see that. Real vista area. And uh, we've been fishing all yesterday, day yesterday. And it's about 10.30 on Sunday, the 5th, February. The one huge oversize that we fought for a long time. Chuck got about a 38 inch shaker and uh, we're just out here prospecting but it's, it's been a long time, long day fishing so we're gonna we're gonna call it a day. We knew it was gonna rain. We're ready with the Brutons and rain gear and everything but uh, we're just uh, heading back to San Jose. Alright, bad water fishing. <laughs> 